guys, it's Isla from Rainbow Island and in today's video we are making birdhouses out of milk cartons. The things that you will need are a pair of scissors, milk carton obviously, um, some sticks if you want this stick look like this, paint, mod podge, a bowl of water, paintbrush, and that's all the things that you need and a placemat if you don't want your counter island table to get all dirty. So the first step of this project is to push the nozzle of the milk carton inside so you could fold it and then push, but you could do this by yourself because it is very easy. What I like to do is push from either side like this so it goes in the middle. So the next step is to have your parents cut a little hole, but if you want to try, you can, but it is really hard, and I recommend using a pen or pencil to sketch your little indent that you're gonna um, cut out before you actually start cutting, because that could uh, maybe ruin this. So I'm gonna have my mom help me um, trace and cut it out. Um, so I'm gonna do that, and then we'll move on to the next step. So the next step is to prime it, and um, if you don't prime it, um, you could end up doing a million coats, and who's got time to just do all of that painting? I mean, who's got time for that? So I'm gonna actually be using this white paint here to coat this, and hopefully I have enough. And kids, um, you could also use any normal paint like I am, or um, primer. So let's get on to priming it. Um, so I'm gonna take my white paint and squirt it into this and then um, start painting that. So we'll show you when the primer is ready and then once it's all painted on your milk carton or whatever you're using, um, you should let it dry and then when you're done you can move on to your paint. So I will see you guys back there when this is all done. <laughs> So we are done um, priming, but it isn't dry yet, and this was one coat of the um, white paint that I used. So um, now um, the next step when this dries is we're gonna use these fun rainbow colors to make um, a little like tie-dye kind of look. So we're gonna do like a smudge of pink, smudge of yellow, blue, green, purple, and just keep like smudging colors everywhere. And hopefully it'll turn out really pretty. Like the last time we did this one for the example one, um, I did blue, plain like gray blue with stars. But this time we're gonna do like rainbow, like rainbow, like rainbow. We're gonna do rainbow smudges everywhere. Sorry about that, I just um, dropped this, but it is a-okay. Um, sorry about that loud noise, I just dropped this. So um, I'll be back to you when we are going to be painting. So guys, it's a couple of days later, and I said that I would get back to you when we are starting painting, and we are. Um, our milk carton was black, so it took us a couple coats, but feel free to use as many as needed for your milk carton and if it's a different color. So actually, I decided with the rainbow paint color, I'm actually going to do different colors of buttons on some of the colors that we have here. So the purple one, I have some pur purple buttons, I have some blue, some green, some yellow, and some pink to do. So. Um, now we are going to get started on painting. So first step, where's my paintbrush? Okay, it's right here. So we're going to choose, how about let's do yellow first. We're going to dip a little bit of our paintbrush in some water and kind of wipe it on the edge. And I'm going to open up my yellow paint and smudge a bit onto my paintbrush. Just like that. Can you guys all see that? And then I'm going to start painting right on there with little smudges of paint everywhere just like that so it's kind of like tie-dye like they told you guys so that's what i meant by tie-dye little smudges of color everywhere around the box kind of like that so i'll be back to you when we are done this color and then we can move on okay guys 
So we just finished doing the yellow, and now the next color we're gonna do is purple. So we're gonna take the purple paint and do the exact same, but this time you guys can watch me do it. So the next glob, if you run out of paint, just put another, oh, that made the party notes. <laughs> so the next little thing, you can just put a little dab again. Just keep going and going until you are done that. Here's the green paint. This might take a bit. So, um, this time you guys get to head off and we will see you guys again when we move on. So we're moving on to the next color and that will be, I think we were gonna do blue and then pink. So let's do some blue. So. After this, we are moving on to the final one. Then I will be back to you when we're done pink. So that, um, where I'm gonna let this dry and then I'm gonna glue on the buttons, then glue on the sticks on the top and then we could write something, at least right here. Or somewhere, like we did on this one, we wrote welcome. Okay guys, so we are done with the painting. We decided to actually do the buttoning when the paint is dry. We're gonna put the buttons in between the white spaces all over the carton. So this time we're gonna go in rainbow order. And kids, if you're using a hot glue gun, which I am, make sure your parents know that you're doing it because the hot glue gun is very hot. So my parents know that I'm doing it, so let's get started. You will need scissors if you want to use buttons and guys, you can also use any accessories that you want. I'm using buttons. This one, I used pencils to color stars and I used little flower style glue on there. Um, so this time I'm gonna use buttons. We're gonna take a button and go to the back of it and just press this button to let the hot glue come out. And then we're gonna glue a bit right there. And then, well, we're gonna stick this one right on there like that to fill in all of the empty spaces. Cause I think polka dots, it needs more color. So I'm gonna finish the rest of the buttons, all of these different colors. I'm gonna do yellow, green, blue, purple. Then I'll be back with you guys with the next step. Hey guys, so um, this is what it looks like when it's all dry and painted with all the buttons on. We'll do a little twirl for you. So we actually wrote hello birds on it. So the next, oh, the next step is to glue the little sticks on all the way around on both sides here, just like we did on this birdhouse. And then the last step is we're gonna paint on Mod Podge on all of it. So if you paint on Mod Podge, um, it actually won't get wet because Mod Podge is a waterproof paint. So if you put Mod Podge on it, over the, all of the paint, it will come off when it's raining or something. So let's get started. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually put a little bit of hot glue right on the top and right there, and then stick the stick right on. So I'm gonna start doing that with this stick, this little one, so it goes like that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go a little bit of hot glue there I don't need on. I'm gonna put a little dot and a little dot. Glue and I'm gonna stick my stick on. So I'm gonna have to go one, then two, press right in the middle there, like that. And it is on the first stick of the day. So guys, I will be back when we we're done this one, and then I'll do the first one with this, and then I'll see you guys for the last step. Okay guys, so we just finished gluing on the sticks. This is what it looks like from the front, and we glued little sticks for the Hello Birds. And now we're moving on to the last, last step, which is putting on Mod Podge. So I'll show you the results when it's all dry and done. Bye guys, see you then. Hey guys, so we just hung the first ever bird house or bird feeder ever on our channel. So if you want, you can drill holes in here or like right here if you want it to kind of like 
move in the wind, but if you don't, you could keep it stable by yeah, going like this so it doesn't move as much in the wind, but it still moves a bit like we did on this one and this one. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to hang this one, and then we're going to see you guys for the final reveal in three, two, one. This is the reveal. So this is the first one. This is what it looks like all hung on the tree. It says hello birds with some sticks and buttons all hung up in the tree. And now let's move on to the next one, which is on this tree here that we have. So this one says welcome with a stick under with a little flower. Flowers on top, blue with some stars. Well, if you guys like this video, make sure to click the subscribe button and give me a huge thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!